Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new project to share and uh, this is a carousel storage unit so we can flip around and for this I have used uh, the Birdsong collection from Graphic 45 and used both the 8x8 and 12x12 pack and uh, I've used uh, some papers I got in my guest design team for from Scrap Crafts for you and I will post a link to their shop below so you can check them out and um, yeah we can start here I um, made some doors here and to close it up I've used this uh, new key from Graphic 45 and it's hanging from uh, the keyhole here and this is also new so this can be put on the top or on the side here. So and here are some um, brads from Graphic 45 and a metal uh, tag that I bent over on both sides here. So this opens up like so. And here is a place for ink pads like so. So it's a lot of room here for ink pads. And uh, the way I made this, uh, all this is uh, made of uh, shipboard. And this uh, shipboard here I got from AccuCutCrafts.com and they came in the 12 by 12 sheets. So for most of it I've used that, but for the bottom here I used uh, this one. It's, uh, I had some bigger uh, shipboard here to create this pattern. So, and the way this is made, it's um, I cut out uh, squares and I uh, used um, um, a die, a circle die, to cut out this so it will be easy to pull these out. And uh, to build up this, I used one inch uh, strips in between of shipboard and uh, placed another shipboard, uh, or how do I explain that? When I glued this down, I placed another shipboard like so before I glued the ne next strip down. So then I can pull these in. So now I've glued them so they are uh, fast here. And uh, for all this uh, uh, project here, I um, covered it with a, a Claudine Helmet multi mat. So it gets more strong and uh, yeah. And uh, here on this side, here, I've uh, taken a magnet uh, plate behind, so I can write some notes and, yeah, it's magnet. And on this side I plan to have my magnets, so I know where they are. And uh, here, there's some fussy cutting and um, the clip here, I can write some notes or something. And here's some fussy cut also, just for decoration. So, this closes up again, like so. And uh, there are some, um, I can show you, these are, uh, this one, it's a uh, label holder. These are also new from Graphic 45. And some hinges down here, so this lips open like so. And inside here, I uh, here I plan to have my copies, and this is made out of uh, strips like so, and fold it together like so. And uh, they are cut of a half inch by uh, five eighths of an inch, <coughs> so it looks like this. And I place score tape on the hand. <laughs> Sorry for the noise here, it's my puppy is playing. And uh, this also can be, be placed in a drawer uh, the other way, so you can pull it out and have your copics in here. So, and here are some um, rubber bands, so this holds this uh, fabric pastels. And, here, and it's magnets here, so it will hold it up like so. And um, on this side I uh, made a pen, or not made the pen, but I decorated it with uh, paper, so just for fun. And uh, it's 
closes up uh, this pocket with a magnet here and I can make some drawing or stamping or something in here. So this goes in like so. And some fussy cut here. And uh, also made some drawers here. So they are like so. And if you see, I can show you on another because I'm also working on another storage. This drawer here, I um, uh, put hinges on the outside and on the sides here and also inside so to make it sturdy and it's two layer of shipboard all so and then I covered all the outside and the inside here and also bottom with the papers so I've used a lot of black cardstock here in this project I think it's over 50 sheets so yeah here I can have some different things in side. So this close ups like so. And I can turn it around and I can tell you this um, carousel here is from an, uh, when we had uh, the big TVs before. Um, uh, this is for a TV so we, we could move the TV. So that's what that is. And for the side here, I created a, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, pocket or, <laughs> it's not a pocket, but I can have my score tape in here. And also some here, that I can put in my ink pads, like so in. And on the side here, these I got from a hardware store. So, plan to hang my scissors here. So also tell you that, that um, then I have to flip back again. It started with this one for my ink pads and I created this on the top here to go on the top here. And then I found out I have larger ink pads as well so I wanted to have a place for them so um, <laughs> then I had to make something on the back side and uh, then I thought it would be nice with some drawers and so this was a never ending project. I've been working on and off on it for a while. So yeah. And here is the back side. And here I can store my larger ink pads. And also put some glue and yeah, solution inside here. And uh, this can close up like so. And this uh, ID here I got from Jim, a gentleman crafter. He has made a beautiful desktop and um, he's a really great crafter and does a uh, lot of fun stuff. So if you haven't seen his uh, projects, uh, I will uh, put the link below. He um, really does a beautiful work. So yeah, that was that. And uh, here are some drawers. And here I plan to have my clips inside. I have a lot of them, so I need much room. And these here are the door poles, I think they call. Yeah, door poles. They are also new from Graphic 45. And I put them upside down because I think it was much nicer to have it this way. And um, here is another drawer, like so. And this can slides like so, so it's two layers here, I can take it out. This is a bit, so you can see how it's, maybe you can see it, how it's built up here, with the different layers of shipboard here. So, that was that drawer. And uh, I have a key clock here, I like to have clocks on my projects. So, and a little bird cage here with some pearls to egg in, uh, to make eggs inside here. So, yeah, I think I showed you most here. And uh, these are the ha uh, hinges I've used on the sides here. It's just for decoration. And uh, for this side, um, I created the same here as uh, for my Copic markers. 
and I can put some uh, pencils or something inside here. And these ones are from Seven Gypsies, so I can hang small tools here, like so. And um, down here, uh, this is uh, a curtain hanger, um, so I just cut it down. So here I can hang some tools over, like so, so I know where I have them. Um, I've had all my tools and stamp pans on different places, so and I <laughs> didn't use all of it, it because I don't remember always what I have, and uh, now I can have it nearby me, all the things I love to use, so it doesn't have to go all over the room to find the things. So, and I hope maybe it doesn't show up, i try to, here is uh, a border, and uh, this is um, put together by two borders, and I will show you in the end of the video how you can do that easy, so it doesn't show up that you have um, uh, put them together, and uh, yeah. And uh, here are some fussy cut images again, just for decoration, no fun. Some borders here. And uh, all is uh, glued down with a multi-mat and all is uh, paper. I haven't painted it, it's uh, cardstock. So I layered over when I put it together with the cardstock on all of it. So it went a lot of glue and multi-mat <laughs> on this uh, project here. But I had a lot of fun creating it and I'm planning to do some more of it. So uh, I have a lot of ideas what I want to make. It's so fun to be build uh, things from uh, shipboard. So this was my um, carousel and I hope you like it. I think I forgot to show here. This is a butterfly from a Graphic 45, a metal butterfly, so just for fun and decoration. So now I will take my tripod off and uh, show you uh, how you can put some strips together. I also did that here, on the bottom here. hope it shows up in the camera. But first I will show you my little puppy. He is sleeping in a tray here on the floor. You can see. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> I love him so. <laughs> okay. So as you see here, this if you put this and glue them together, it doesn't fit here. So an easy way to do that is see if I'm in frame here, put them over each other like so. And try to line it up as good as you can. See if uh, here, I think. And then you take your scissor and cut over like so. And then you see I didn't cut straight here, but it uh, doesn't matter. And they will fit together like so and you won't see it when you glue it down. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I um, wish you all a happy and a great day and uh, also want to thank you so much for all your sweet comments and support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you so much. So I hope you all have fun creating and uh, Take care. Bye-bye.